What's up, everybody? Today, I'm gonna to share with you a trade idea and a lesson about vertical spreads. Before I get into it, I share eight to 12 trades every Sunday with my membership, and then on Monday, we get together for a live class. I invite you to try a free week. Head to the link, activedaytrader.com forward slash you free. Try a free week, no credit card down. See if it's a good fit for you. Let's get into the trade. Micron. As many of you know, the stock market is looking great. It recovered. It does seem like a deal with China is getting close. Financial Times ran an article talking about one of the pieces of the puzzle for a tariff resolution. Now they're talking about Micron loosening things up regulatory for issues that they've had with chips with Micron technology. This is interesting because if Micron gets a favorable benefit from a tariff resolution, we're going to see a very, very bullish move, right? If we look at what tariffs have done to Micron, it's just pummeled the stock. The stock got as high as 65, almost cut in half. Now it bounced. If we look technically, technically, I have a, on us a weekly 200 period moving average, 100 period moving average, traded down to its 200, up to its 100. You're going to find some support here for sure, 41.45. But I'm not looking at this from a technical standpoint. I'm looking at this that stock market's doing great. This whole tariff thing, it's all politically motivated. Tariffs are coming off. So therefore, all the moves that happened before tariffs will most likely reverse, especially if there's an earmarked agreement cut out for Micron. This is a name that we want to be along. The trick with options is how do we get long? Do we want to just buy the stock? No way. It's just too expensive. Why deal with it? Why just buy the stock? We're better off using the options. So now we need to look at what expiration would you want to play? Well, you could look at the March. The problem with March is that there's only 21 days. I want more time, but Micron's earnings is estimated for March 20th. So if you get yourself in the March expiration, you're not going to have the time that the earnings are going to bring. The earnings are a catalyst for movement, right? The company gets in front of a whole bunch of analysts. They field questions. The street gets information so they get better value the stock. That's a reason for the stock to move. For me, not only do I think the stock's going to move, I think the stock's going to go higher, especially if there's a resolution on tariffs, it moves higher, but just maybe there's something special carved out for Micron. So now, if I want to be in April 55 days, that gives me a little bit more time than March, but it also gives me that earnings catalyst. How do we play it? Again, we don't want to just buy the stock too expensive. We don't really want to do a put credit spread. I guess you could. I don't love that. Put credit spread. We're taking in a credit we're risking more than we're going to make. Not my preference. For me, I'd rather go upside call buying. But the upside calls in April, to me, are a little pricey. So here's what I think is the best way to play this name. I think we should consider a vertical spread. And here's how they work. And here's how to consider what price and what trade to actually do. So. Last trade 42, it's 42.14, but I want easier math for me. 45s. Let's say the 45s are $1.90. The 46s. Let's say they're $1.50 again. Jonathan wants easy math for his presentation. The 47s, let's call them $1.30. The 48s, let's call them $1. The 49s. Let's call 80 cents and the 50s we'll call 65 cents. So 80 cents, 65 cents. Now, I would look to do an upside vertical call debit spread. 
So you could do the 45 against the 50s. If you do this, you're buying the 45s and you're selling the 50s. The cost of this would be $1.90 minus 65 cents, which is $1.25. Now, if you do this trade, your risk on a one lot is $125 and your maximum reward is five, the difference between the strikes, minus $1.25. So your reward is $375 by doing the trade this way. And again, this would be buying the 45s and selling the 50s. You can go higher. Let's say you go 48s, 50. Your risk in this is gonna be buying for a dollar, selling for 50 cents, your risk is only 35 cents. Or a one lot would be $35 of risk. If you do a 10 lot again, it's 350. I think you guys know that. Your reward is 50 minus 48, $2. $2 minus 35 cents is gonna give us $1.65 or $165 reward if we are correct. So two different ways to handle this trade. What I want you to see is 48.50 is a little bit more speculative, right? Because we need the stock to get higher in order for us to make money, but the reward's also greater. Here, we're risking $35 to potentially make 165. You can risk 350 to potentially make 1,650. The lower, a little bit more of a conservative play, you're still getting a three to one risk reward. For me, this is way, 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 way better than just buying the outright stock. Here you get leverage. Here you get a fixed amount of risk. There's no surprises. You know exactly what you're getting into before you do the trade. So this is what I'd like. Any one of these spreads make a ton of sense for me. When I'm doing these verticals, I wouldn't do a, a vertical that's only a dollar wide, like the 46s by 47s, just not enough meat on the bone. If you do the 46, 47, do it with me, your risk, buying $1.50, selling $1.30, you only have 20 cents of risk, but you could only make the difference between the strikes less 20 cents. That's the trade that I like. Again, I share trades like this every single Sunday night. This video is being made on Friday. I send it out to the members on Friday. I'll post it on YouTube Friday after the close. Hope it helps. Any questions, email me directly or just leave a comment below. I'll reply to each one of your comments. If you want to email, email support at Active Day Trader. Thanks, good luck. Let's get these tariffs off the table. Let's get Micron trading above 50 bucks. Thanks, guys.